Hello, this is Colin Sandy from Sandy Audiovisual. This is probably going to be one of the shortest unboxings yet. Um, here we have the data video up down cross converter, the DAC70, and I'm pretty much uh, using this to replace my Matrox uh, Convert DVI Plus, which is. Oh, I can reach it. Can I reach it? Oh, yep, yep. There we go. Oh. Replacing this guy, the Matrox Convert DVI Plus, which I was pretty excited about. Um, you know, it's a pretty good device. The only thing about it is that you really have to set it up with your um, PC. And the region of interest feature is great if you're if that's what you're going to use it for. The Matrox DVI Plus is great. Um, but uh, as far as a field unit, something that you're going to use live and when the pressure's on, you want to have a actual tactile interface to what's going on, uh, you know, switches or what have you, uh, I thought the data video would be a better bet here. So I didn't mean to toss that unceremoniously. It's a great device and about maybe twice the cost of the, the data video, but as I said, for field gear, I'm not feeling it. So here we have the, uh, the data video DAC70, uh, registered for a two-year warranty that seems to be uh, I shouldn't say a new trend, maybe a growing trend. I see uh, Atomos does pretty much the same thing to get the three-year warranty. They want your information, and a lot of the big providers have been doing that for uh, years. So um, why I said this is going to be one of the shortest unboxings ever is because, well, the box isn't sealed. Now, this is how it came from the shop, just in this lovely box, straight for the environment. No shrink wrapping, no blister pack, uh, no tape. It's uh, this here. We have the uh, very uh, brief instruction manual, and I'm certain that most of it is to tell you what uh, switches to deploy. Uh, a CD we have here that includes box center, including box center. I don't know what box center is, so maybe we want to get into a in-depth review. We can figure out what box center is if you're a data video fan and have used the previous DACs, uh, please comment below and you know, clue us in what the box center is. I've used their switchers, but never their converters. And here we have the device itself. Let me get it here. It is in the lovely bubble wrap. Alright. Well, oh, encountered my first piece of tape, a bit of uh, cellophane there, some scotch tape. So let's get this out. And here we have it. We have a nice diagram here of what the various dip switches do. So might even be able to skip the uh, manual on this one. On the incoming side, we see we have a HD15 VGA in. Uh, HDMI in and what I really like about this design is that they have this plate right here that I'm showing you with my pinky finger uh, to tie your HDMI cable down. Now one of the biggest things I hate about the HDMI spec other than it's you know really a pain in the butt to terminate yourself and earn the field is that there's no latch or screws on it like with the VGA connector you can screw that in you know it's not going to come loose with an SDI connector uh, has a bayonet action there you can uh, twist that in it's going to lock it won't come loose um, HDMI and things like RCA or consumer connectors and that can uh, easily pull out and ruin your show and uh, keep you from getting paid which would never be a good thing it's never happened to us but uh, the potential is there HDMI in a way to um, zip tie that down great great little feature there sometimes it's the simple things that can really make a device shine so also on the ends we have an SDI in here and this is both SD and HD SDI I believe up to 3G and a convenient loop through and here on the outgoing side we have another HDMI out with the same uh, tie down uh, shelf here and, uh, and two uh, SDI outs uh, a USB port, that's the uh, micro USB as opposed to the, or I guess mini USB as opposed to the micro USB. So kind of the older connector here for updates. Um, lovely here, we have a 
uh, DC 12 volt power supply socket here that will let you if I could focus here on the tr tread you can actually screw that connector in right and uh, LED lights indicating what your source is whether it be VGA HDMI or SDI and here are the dip switches that are specified on the back right for depending on whether your source is VGA HDMI SDI it would have been great if it auto sensed that but to keep the cost down I don't mind flipping a few switches also audio and what your uh, video output should be so um, can't wait to try this device in the field uh, very sturdily built aluminum all the way around looks like it also acts as its own heat sink I imagine as an SDI device that it would heat up a little bit we'll see how hot it gets to the touch here's the front the data video up down cross convert